What's going on NEM crew? Welcome back. Today we're bringing you another Shop Talk video. In this video, we're gonna be changing the spark plugs on my fiance's 2009 Nissan Sentra. So I know what you're probably thinking, what the heck, these guys are doing a video on spark plugs? Anybody could change spark plugs. Well, that's what I thought when I started to take this thing apart to change the plugs. Let's get into it. So we checked everything over and made a battle plan on changing the plugs on this and it turns out that you have to remove the intake manifold because it sits literally on top of the valve cover where the coils are. If anybody knows another way of getting the spark plugs out without taking the intake off, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible, please let us know in the comments. First disconnect the negative battery terminal. Then remove the two bolts securing the engine cover and pull it away from the two mounting points at the base. Remove the transmission breather hose off of the air inlet tube. Then back off both clamps that hold the inlet tube from the air box onto the throttle body. The last thing you have to do to remove the inlet tube is take the PCV hose off of the valve body and you're good to go. The next step is to remove the EVAP line off of the purge solenoid. Now remove the connector off of the purge solenoid and off of the throttle body. Now remove the clamp that secures the brake booster vacuum line. There's another hose at the back of the intake manifold that needs to be removed. Also, there's a bolt securing the intake manifold to a bracket at the back of the engine. Now you can't really see it very good, but I'm pinching off the two coolant lines that go to the throttle body, just so that when they're removed, we don't lose too much coolant. There are proper tools for clamping off these lines, but you can use vice grips, especially if you're careful. Now simply back off the clamps that hold those hoses on and remove them. Before removing the lines completely, it is a good idea to put a rag underneath there just so that you can mop up any little bit of coolant that comes out. It doesn't make too much of a mess in the engine bay. Here I'm removing that back bolt on the intake manifold that I mentioned earlier. Now we can start removing the five bolts that secure the intake manifold to the cylinder head at the front of the engine. In order to get at the final bolt securing the intake manifold, you have to remove the throttle body and it's just four 10 mil bolts holding that on. With the final bolt removed, you should be able to easily remove the intake manifold. I found moving it slightly to the driver's side of the vehicle when pulling it out made it easy. Now you can start removing all the coil connectors. Delicious. 
Now, as you can see here, one of the connectors kind of came apart, the seal came out. If that happens to you, don't panic. It can easily be inserted back inside and make sure you find the little white piece that holds it in. The coils are held in by four 10 mil bolts. Once they're removed, you can just set the coils aside. There's that little white piece that I was telling you about that just fell out of that coil. And make sure when you set the coils aside that you put them in the order that they came out. You don't want to mix up the coils. It's just a good work practice just in case you have any drivability problems in the future. Another great work practice is to blow out the spark plug tube holes before you remove the spark plugs. That just stops any foreign material from going into the cylinder when the spark plugs are removed. Also make sure you're using a spark plug socket. Those sockets usually have a magnet or a rubber inside so that when you're pulling the spark plug out it doesn't drop back inside and damage it. There's our intake gasket on the left, and on the right, our pack of four laser platinum spark plugs. When installing spark plugs, always start them by hand. Really, that's a good theory for any kind of thread fastener. With the new spark plugs installed, you can pop in the coils in the exact same spot that they came from and reinstall the 10 mil fasteners that held them in. Carefully plug back in the coils and make sure that you tug on them a little bit when you install them to make sure that they are fully clicked in. Before you reinstall the intake manifold, it's a very good idea to clean up the mating surface on the cylinder head. We just used a little piece of emery cloth. You can use a die grinder and then once you're done with that, just get a rag with a little bit of brake cleaner and clean it off. We went pretty crazy cleaning the intake manifold. You don't have to really go that nuts. And then once you've cleaned the intake manifold out, you can go and install your new intake manifold gasket. Make sure the intake manifold gasket is fully seated inside of its groove or else you could have a vacuum leak and cause a check engine light. The reinstallation process of the intake manifold is pretty straightforward. It's basically the reverse of the removal process. One extremely helpful tip I can give you is to start all the bolts by hand first. Don't tighten one completely and then move on to the next one. Because if you do that, you're just going to end up with two or three bolt holes that just don't line up. With all the bolts started, you can start tightening the intake manifold to cylinder head bolts. You want to start from the middle one and work your way out. This eliminates the chance of the gasket again getting pinched and causing an intake leak.
delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. A couple extra things I wanted to add that we forgot to mention while we were doing it. If you guys have a torque wrench and you're not really comfortable tightening things completely by hand, definitely use a torque wrench and torque the spark plugs to the factory spec. And as also make sure you order that throttle body gasket that we had to take off. We reused it, the car ran fine, we didn't have any vacuum leaks, but I would recommend replacing it when you do this job. Yeah. All right guys, that's it for this video. As always, Stay classy, crew. Peace.